Hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are creating unforgettable memories this Valentine's Day in Canada. Despite the freezing temperatures, they braved the cold in their winter attire, hand in hand as they ventured onto the snowy mountain to engage with athletes using adaptive skis and their guides. Prince Harry even tried his hand at adaptive skiing, getting into the gear for a run himself. The couple skiing caught the attention of a nearby family. Hey dad, it's Harry and Meghan, yelled a teen boy as he recognized them. Currently stationed in the picturesque ski resort of Whistler, British Columbia, Canada, the duo is partaking in a two-day program to shine a spotlight on next year's Winter Invictus Games, slated to take place in the city. Megan exuded glamour in skinny white jeans paired with a sweater and a beige quilted coat, while Harry opted for a grey beanie, black puffer jacket, and jeans ensemble. Over the next couple of days, they are scheduled to meet with coaches and competitors to experience winter adaptive sports in preparation for the upcoming games. Canada holds a special significance for the couple, both personally and professionally, as the Invictus Games played a pivotal role early in their relationship. Their debut as a couple at the 2017 Invictus Games in Toronto, where Meghan resided while filming Suits, is still remembered fondly. It's anticipated that Prince Harry will reminisce about his courtship of Meghan during her time in Canada. Not only are Vancouver and Whistler conveniently close to their California home, Vancouver also holds sentimental value as it was where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex spent their first holiday season as a family of three in 2019 with their son, Prince Archie, who is now four years old. Harry kicked off their adventure by hitting the slopes in a specially adapted wheelchair. The couple is expected to return home to California on Friday afternoon to reunite with their children, Archie and Lilibet. Disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinions based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. King Charles's cancer diagnosis has rocked the royal world, but there may be one silver lining to the king's bad news. The world found out King Charles III was diagnosed with cancer on February 5th, thanks to a public statement from Buckingham Palace. Reportedly, the King personally told William, Prince of Wales and Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. Harry clearly didn't waste any time reacting to the news. He immediately hopped on a plane to the UK to visit his father and landed in London on February 6th. King Charles reaching out to Harry personally to tell him the news, instead of letting him find out with the rest of the world, might mean the relationship between King Charles and Harry could be on the mend. Their relationship has been strained ever since Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from royal duties in 2020. While Prince Harry has returned to England a few times since then, there didn't seem to have been much of an easing of the royal rift. Going absolutely no willingness to reconcile. That said, we don't know when exactly King Charles told Harry and William. He may have even told them together on a phone call or video chat. Harry being kept in the loop with regard to his father's health seems like it would be a no-brainer. Of course, their father and son, after all. But it appears to be in stark contrast to how he found out about Queen Elizabeth's death. It's in looking at that difference that we can see hints of a potential reconciliation. King Charles's cancer diagnosis has undoubtedly shaken the royal world. However, Amidst the concerning news, there could be a silver lining. 
the fact that King Charles personally informed Prince Harry about his diagnosis, before the public announcement suggests a potential positive development in their strained relationship. While the exact timing and manner of communication remain unclear, this gesture contrasts with how Harry learned about Queen Elizabeth's death, hinting at a possible step towards reconciliation between father and son. According to his memoir, Spare, Prince Harry found out that his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, had died via a BBC News alert on his phone. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Here's what went down. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle happened to be in England in September 2022 when Queen Elizabeth's health took a turn for the worse. Harry's father told him to get up to Balmoral and reportedly insisted that he not bring Meghan. That said, Harry apparently did not receive an invite to join a number of his family members, including Prince William, on a chartered private flight to Scotland. Queen Elizabeth died at 3.10 p.m. local time, and William and the others landed in Scotland at 3.50 p.m. So, it's not as though they got a chance to see the Queen, and Harry didn't. Instead, the bigger issue was Harry being left to handle things on his own, as well as the fact that he didn't receive a private notification that the Queen had died. In Omid Scobie's book Endgame, the author wrote that Harry's private flight didn't leave London for Scotland until 5.35 p.m. If the Queen died at 3.10 p.m., that meant there would have been time for Harry to have received a call either from his father or his brother to let him know. Instead, he found out at the same time as the general public. This revelation is utterly heartbreaking. The lack of consideration shown to Prince Harry during such a pivotal moment is deeply distressing. To learn of his grandmother's passing through a news alert, isolated from his family, is a profound betrayal of trust and familial bonds. It underscores the urgent need for reconciliation and understanding within the royal family. Notably, the palace statement confirming King Charles III's cancer diagnosis said he remains wholly positive about his treatment, so we don't have any reason to believe that King Charles is on his deathbed in the way that Queen Elizabeth was. That said, it's still clearly a time of stress within the family, as anyone who has dealt with a cancer diagnosis of a loved one will understand, and this time, Harry was notified not by his phone, but by his father. Prince Harry then taking the steps to visit his father speaks to the love he still has for him, despite the differences they've had over the years. It also supports what Prince Harry told Anderson Cooper during his 2023 60 Minutes interview when he said, I look forward to having a relationship with my father and other members of my family. Everyone knows how hard it can be to undergo cancer treatment and how stressful it can be on families but one silver lining might be Harry and his father strengthening their fractured relationship. Despite the stress of King Charles III's cancer diagnosis, his positive outlook on treatment provides some relief. Prince Harry's personal visit to his father, informed directly by him this time, signifies a potential for reconciliation amidst their past differences. It's a reminder of the strength of familial bonds, even in the face of adversity. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.